Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with me, Miss Nabisa. So, by the time you're going to see this video, what I'm about to talk, and then I failed to introduce you in the morning because I was late. I was kind of looking sleepy. Uh, I'm just from a certain training, an amazing one, and I've learned so many things, so many things. Manze, masomo haishan, it is called Wallant. Wallant means wide awake, local anesthesia, no tourniquet. In that case, tourniquet in a manisha unafunga mugonjo, the way unafunga wana gloves, ama the tourniquet for a doctor um, or a, whichever medical practitioner to put to insert a um, branula and a kwekea line, quote unquote line. Now with this procedure, mugonjo haiwekewe line, alafu wako awake, that is called wallant. So, we've had that training at the KNH, and it was a successful one. We learned a lot, and upon completion of the training, you are being awarded certificate, which is an added advantage. Who doesn't buy the I love certificates? Oh, so nangani kama zinongezanga to bonga points, quote unquote. So, why the work local anesthesia, no tourniquets? And I was so shocked because there are some procedures, kama amputation. I was like, wait, who put amput? Amputation machine of kata mkono, either kukata part. Like you amputating, you're removing part of that uh, body part. <laughs> Does it even make sense? You're removing part of that body part. Maybe unakata mkono, umekatia mkono hapa, I don't know, mgu. You know what I mean kisama amputation? I believe we are learned kidogo. If you don't get it, just Google and then you see what amputation is and how... An amputated part looks like. So imagine, mainly kwa manajua, amputation has to be done in the main theater. Like this is something that's supposed to go to the main theater. There was a time I had a patient na likuwa mekatika to vidole to phalanges. Tuluka to mekatika hivi, alikuwa zile nukanyago. I didn't even understand what really happened to this boy. Like, anasema zile likanya. Eni, yes, uri haikuwa ina adapt, but mkifikiria zuni kama likuwa mekatwa, kuza likuwa na ukora na ukora fulani. But from the history he was giving me, I listen to Malikoa Mekanyaga. He go in a adap. So Mimi na kutenzi yangu was like, this is a theater case. Nini nini? I had to refer. But now looking back, I'm like, this is a violent thing. This is something that I could have done it. Like I could have done it, man. Like I could have done it. So this the patient is just awake. You anesthetize the place with the lignocaine, adrenaline, and sodium bicarbonate. Sijui kama tena ileweka. I hope sichanganye mtu mahali. But anyway, uneka lignocaine. I love there's a way in which you do the lignocaine. Like, there's a way in which it is done. I'm sorry, because in our facility, I don't think we have 20. I think the, the, the smallest gauge we have is, we had 25, zika potea, but now we have 27. Sorry, 23 and 21. 23, you need to put blue needle. Do I, I think I have them here. I'll just take a photo and patch up. And then 21, you need to put green needle. So we normally call them 21, 23, 25, 27. And uh, there's a doctor from uh, Karen, uh, Dr. Karuke Litombia. It is good to use a 27 gauge patient and a feel. At a skikitu. Like, the patient doesn't feel anything at all. Hmm? So, sorry, we had that procedure. And the interesting part is we did it to ourselves. Trust you me, nimetoka kenyata, nilidunga, I think tulidunga na rounda sa saba, sa sita ako, sa sita sa saba. I'm not wrong. Right now it's around six. My finger is completely numb. Like, si feel kitu, and this is the first time I'm getting anesthesia. I'm getting local anesthesia. Like I have never. I give, but I have never. So this is how it feels. Imagine Bado Siski and I was only given 2 ml. And there are those patients. I love who they were saying you can give this in case of a, an alcoholic patient, Utamweka for late. 30, because it has to take effect, so we give it like 30 minutes. So, we are mlevi, mdunge tu, alafu wachanga na ye. Tuzo upombe zake tu, whatever, but of course, it will take if it will be effective. In 30 minutes time, then you will carry out your procedure. So, back to my point. You don't need to go to the theater for amputation. 
and the advantages of violence in a decongest theater patient hata kwa nisa hizo post side effect za surgery ma vomiting nausea there are no those pulmonary uh, <coughs> thrombosis hey hey what am i even saying like hizo ma complications za unjua surgery dawa inaweza kata ndio maana naambianga mtu akienda surgery you sign because anything can happen you see you putting uh, these drugs in a patient's body you don't know how the how the patient will come out and as i make it i'm a cause to make it so that's why you always sign like you you signing this consent you are ready for any outcome so but with the warrant imagine hai na easy vitu and i'm just praying see hata to quickly tuifikie mambo na cs cuz mimi pikifikia cs na warrant i'll be good to go like this thing is so painless very painless i didn't feel any pain you only feel that caprica king ya kidogo to and then the technique is i don't know have you been doing it wrong no but it's just an improvement of what we've been taught so <clears throat> i'm going to leave this long intro here you watch what we did i think it's around 12 minutes so it's a bit going to be a long video it's a bit longer you watch that video hope you enjoy uh, i freaked out a bit for zimina injections you know but it's been an amazing day after you done the issue certificate like you've done an amazing job pulling to under certificate like me i do love that so guys make sure you watch this video leave a comment um if you're a medic please next time there are these um trainings that are being offered and then i get to know them i'll just post the link because that i mainly to me with a good friend of mine i registered and everything was okay i was being i was mailed and i was there on time so i hope you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe like comment and turn on the post notification meanwhile my finger is numb like completely numb <laughs> I can tell you from my experience in the current hospital, we are doing more than a thousand cases currently, and it's working so well. Uh, the technique is quite simple. As Oxygenia said, the most important thing is knowing the principles of surgery that you're working with. Know your tissue planes, know the safety uh, features of injecting uh, anesthesia, and I'm sure most of us uh, know about that. And most importantly, also realizing uh, the status of the patient in front of you. So the patient in front of you is the most important parameter to use when doing valent injections. So you need to establish a rapport, uh, explain what you want to do, okay? Make sure they are as comfortable as possible. And then when you are about to start, you of course have to warn the patient as you start, okay? And then as Professor Jania said, you create sensory noise. So creation of sensory noise, the easiest way to do it is pinching the skin up. Because when you pinch the skin up, the patient has sensory noise around that region and therefore when you prick uh, the pain that is felt is hardly uh, perceptible to the patient um, this technique of injection requires that you first create a wheel a 1 cm squared wheel at your injection point and then it is from that injection point which already has become numb that you now be able to infiltrate your lant normally from the proximal aspect to the distal aspect for example if you are going to do a carpal tunnel release you inject from the proximal palmar crease one centimeter wheel one centimeter squared wheel and then from that point of entry now you can flood the area proximal to the wheel and in that way any time you are at you are entering through the port of entry that is already anesthetized the patient hardly feels anything and that's why we are saying the wallant technique you only feel the first prick okay and i think with the newer techniques like vepopulans it is actually uh, better because you don't even feel that first thing okay uh, the other thing that we do at current hospital which i would encourage us to do is when we do this because we do this in the office set the office setting before the patient uh, actually walks into the procedure room normally we take um, we, we take uh, the patient's preferred mode of relaxation at that point so the nurse asks the patient for example what, what's your favorite music and then we create that playlist for you so that when you walk into our land theater your music is playing and that has a very good calming effect on you uh, some people it is reading i've had to i have sutured scalps la, scalp lacerations on patients who are reading magazines i'll share a video with you i think on the on the website 
about a patient who was actually reading a National Geographic magazine as we sit here, the scalp laceration. And the patient was extremely comfortable. Okay, yes. good enough. So we'll start. Uh, Dr. Okiono, my name is Dr. Kariuki. I'm going to be uh, your, do your surgeon today. Okay, we are going to inject the uh, proximal aspect of your phalanx. Okay, using the Wallant technique. Okay, you are going to feel a small prick initially. And after that, there will be absolutely no pain beyond that. Okay, any concerns? Are you happy? <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. So again, as usual, we have to anesthetize the area. And I mean, we, we have to uh, clean the area, okay? Make it sterile. So again, your surgical principles are extremely important, okay? You don't want to in, uh, create an infection on the patient. So you swab the area nicely. You swab in a circular manner, going from inside to outwards, okay? So that you make sure the place is sterile. And then you take your prick, okay? So normally, the smaller the syringe, the better, because there is less pressure. If you're going to use a big syringe to inject, there'll be more pressure on the, uh, on, the, on the material you're going to inject, and therefore, the patient may feel slightly more uncomfortable. So the smaller the syringe, the better, and the smaller the gauge of the needle, also the better. So we prefer that you use a 27-gauge needle if you have a lower block syringe. That's better. Yeah. Because if you have a large volume, sometimes you're squirting and the needles are threatened and exactly. the syringe is squirting out. Okay? Yeah. So if you have a lure lock and they're available, you need to talk to the people and they get those things. Okay, carry on. Good. There we go. Okay. So we create sensory noise by pinching this place up. Okay. Remember we have anesthetized this place, so you don't touch the place of anesthetize. And then we go at 90 degrees. Okay. So 90 degrees injection. And that's the only thing that you'll feel. Okay. And then you inject your drug. So as you inject your drug, you, you pinch the skin upwards. Okay. And There's no rush. Go. Inject very slowly. You know? Very slowly. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> any, any pain now? <coughs> Excellent. No pain anymore. Good. Only the first prick was the painful prick. And you go very slowly. There's no rush. There's a subcutaneous space. You just go very slowly. Yeah. It will take two or three minutes to inject this. Once this is injected, then you're a king because you've got a numb area. Yeah. In that wheel, if you now put a needle, all right, there's going to be no pain because there's local anesthetic. Oh, my God. I can go slow. I really feel injections. It make us small. You pinch. Hey, I can't go. Ouch! No. Yeah, the cap pinch, but ouch! <laughs> I think that's enough, my dear. Itaisha. I am the Pika. <laughs> <No. laughs> this twenty seven gauge, twenty five, twenty five. You don't need to do the bubble. No, you don't. <laughs> Is it painful? No. Really? Okay. It has to be 90 degrees. Yeah, those will go 90 degrees. But James has said it's so better to go 90. It's not painful? I'm going to have COVID at the care give. COVID is going to have a mink. Okay. <laughs> you did it. Can have this here, the light is cool. Mm. Okay. 
How much are you injecting? Two. No, just one. You don't need two. Oh. Yeah. Now two, it will be there until tomorrow. Really? <laughs> it will not be until tomorrow? <laughs> what? <laughs> Gosh. So they said you prepare this how? What is in here? It's a uh, signifier and no, adrenaline. For the bicarbonate. So if two, I'll get it even on this side. It's actually numb. Yeah. I'll give you only one, eh? because we don't want it. Primary. 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 Now can you kick bad or last year? No. <laughs> no. You only have three years to fun. kick him bad. Fun. You never forget. <laughs> okay, this is what time? I think it's just a trifling year. It's not to me magnified. Then you know you Ah, so clear, man. Thank you. <laughs> I was worried about it. Yeah. 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 No. Oh, yeah. 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 So you are, you are going to set up. We start this eh? yes, okay. because there are a lot of uh, one of the problems we have in orthopedics. This doctor, she's, she's looking at me too. <laughs> I think I'll put it this way. You know, I can't feel this thing at all. Let me do that. So, you know, we used to have long waiting lists for ganglions, carpal tunnel syndrome, because we couldn't get, we couldn't get uh, theater space. Even the bride, the bride. Right. So now I think uh, we need to, to start.